Welcome back to Python Scripting for GIS Applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and it's spring semester 2013. From last time, your assignment was to write a simple script tool. So the first thing to do would be to write your Python script, and that would be basically be a three-step process. So the first step would be use our script tool and we'll get a user specified workspace and that will be a string and we'll store that string in this variable. So now we have the user specified workspace from our script tool. So then the second step would be to get a list of all the feature classes in that user specified workspace. So what we can do is set our ArcPy environment workspace to whatever our user specified the workspace to be and then use the arcpy.list feature classes with a wildcard, so an asterisk is a wildcard. So that will return in this list all the feature classes that are in our current arcpy environment workspace. And then the third step would be simply to loop through all those feature classes in that list and then basically use the dot get count management to get how many features are in each feature class. So then basically we'll take that object, convert it to a string, and then we'll put a new line character in front of that string, and then we'll use the arcpy.add message to report that message. And the message then would be number of features equals string count, and that will be our second message. And then when we're all done looping through every feature class in our list of feature classes, we'll add a message that's just a new line character just to end the script. Okay, so that's what we'll do. So what we need to do is get our script tool, which is linked to our Python. Okay, so here we're beginning to build our script tool. So the first thing we'll do is we just name it some simple name without any special characters or spaces. And then the label will basically be the title that's on the top of our dialog. So I titled it count features in each feature class. And then the description would be an abstract or a summary of what your script tool is going to accomplish. So I put script reporting number of features in each feature class in a user specified workspace. And I'll store this in a relative path name and that way if I give the toolbox the script tool is inside of, it doesn't matter whether it's on an E drive or a C drive or a D drive. And then the source, we would browse to the location where our Python script is located. So it's called countfeatures.py. And then the parameters. So we're going to have parameters and we'll have a display name select workspace containing feature class, and then the data type will be the workspace data type. And then we're ready to go. So then OK, and then we could simply double click on our script tool to run it. And you notice we've got our title here, which was a script tool label. And then basically the abstract was the description underneath that. So we could hide help. And then we have our script tool. So I'll just select the workspace containing feature classes. So I'll select a workspace. Uh, let's see here. Salmon streams. So salmon streams is a folder. And then OK will execute our Python script. So it's running the script. So basically it executes this script and the first feature class is called salmon.shape and there are 70 lines in that feature class. And the next feature class is salmonstreams.shape and there's 70 features in that feature class. And then streams.shape, there's nine features in that feature class. So we could run it one more time on a different workspace. So this time I'll pick a geodatabase as a workspace.
So basically it steps through all the feature classes inside that geo database. So Snow Truth, there were five polygons in Snow Truth. There's five polygons in Snow Predict and one polygon in Intersect One. And sometimes you've got this checked on where it says close dialogue when completed so you don't see these messages. So sometimes it'll just go through and that disappears and oops, I didn't see the messages. Well, if that ever happens, you could always retrieve your messages from the results tab. So for example, if I go to the results tab, here are the results from running that script twice. So if you want to see the results, the messages, just right mouse click on the message and view. So this is the second time I ran it where we were going into our um, Snow Geo database. And then this was the first time I ran it when I was going into that folder, into the Salmon Streams folder. So you could always copy and paste these if you wanted to and put them on a, in a text file if you wanted to. Okay, in this session, I want to teach you how to document your script tools to make them a little more user friendly to users. So for example, here's our script tool count features. If we right mouse click on it and go to item description and then go to the edit button. So that will allow us to edit things like the title, the summary, the usage, etc. So once we get to the edit button, we could change the title, we could give it search tags, we could change our summary or our abstract. And for us, the most important thing is we can document each dialogue. So the dialogue in this example, there's just one where it said, select workspace containing feature class. So what we could do is further explain what we want from the user. So we could do that, I'll put a bold here. I will put in some exclamation about this. Okay, so I typed in select workspace containing point line or polygon feature classes, colon, and then I could put in bullets, for example. So for bullets, it would be this one. So one bullet would be folder containing shape files. And a second bullet might be geo database containing feature classes. And that would just help the user if they don't understand what that dialogue is for. This message is in the help portion of that dialogue. Okay, so we could do things like that, and then we could add who basically built the script and built the script tools. Are there any constraints? Things. So you might put under credits who wrote the script, uh, the email, and then the version of ArcGIS where this script is successfully uh, works. Okay, and then when we're all done, we would go back to the top tab and just save, and that would save all the description about our script tool. Okay, so now as a user, if I don't understand what this select workspace containing feature, what that means, if I just click inside any dialogue, it now has a message that helps us. So it says select workspace containing feature classes, select workspace containing point, line, or polygon feature class, folder containing shape files, or geo database containing point, line, or polygon features. So basically for every dialogue, you can guide the user along by supplying these types of bullets or a paragraph describing exactly what you want for that dialogue. Okay, and if you click on to tool help, you get all of the information that we built and it comes up in a default web browser. So basically you'd get something like this and inside your web browser, you'd have the title of the script tool, the summary, the usage, the syntax for any dialogue, the exclamation, any code samples, credits, any limitation on this script tool, etc. So that's a nice thing to do if you're working with users that you need to really hold their hand and really guide them along in the use of your Python script. Okay, so that's all I wanted to cover in this video session. So you're now ready to write three script tools for your homework assignment that's at the NRM638 website.